Good day, everyone. So in our first video, I introduced analog velocity calculations, showing the two equations. And the two equations, you'll be calculating and you're getting your answer in foot per minute. So quickly, I'll be taking to example. I'll be taking examples to show us how we use these um, equations. So looking at our, our, our parameters here, fluid is 850 gallons per minute. Your hole size is 8.5. Your pipe um, size is 5 inch. So using the first equation, so let me put this up quickly. So using the first equation, um, analog velocity is going to be equal to 24.5 times Q, but note that your Q is going to be in gallons per minute divided by the diameter of the hole squared minus the diameter of the pipe squared. So when you plug in your numbers, your analog velocity quickly is going to be 24.5 times 850, because that's your flow rate right here, divided by 8.5 squared minus 5 squared. So when you do your numbers, analog velocity is going to be equal to the numerator there is going to be 20,825 divided by your numerator, your denominator is going to be 47.25. So quickly, your analog velocity, sorry there, your analog velocity is going to be 440.7 feet per minute. So you can see that this number is actually really high. It is high because we have assumed 850 gallons per minute for an eight and a half inch hole. It's quite ambitious. So looking at the second equation, the second equation says, equation two, analog velocity is going to be 1029.4 times the um, Q, but this time in BPM, that's barrels per minute, divided by your, your hole size squared, then the pipe size squared. Note, before we can apply this equation, we have to convert our gallons, per minute, our gallons per minute to barrels per minute. So to do that quickly, you just divide by 42. So 850 um, gallons per minute, when we divide that by 42 to get, to change it to barrels per minute, that should be about um, 20.23 20 barrels per minute. So plug that in the equation. So your analog velocity is going to be 1029.4 times... Um, 20.23 divided by 47.25. And when you do the numbers quickly, you see that you're going to have the same value, about 440.9 four, four um, foot per minute. Don't forget to put our, our, um, our dimensions. So that's pretty much what you have. So you see you almost have, you have the same values. It's just the constants that change. And also make sure that you use um, the right um, dimensions. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.